There they are. The whole lot of them. Hold on. Something's up. Huh? Yeah, something weird's going on. Let's try talking to them. Well, okay. Ah, oh, rat. Everyone's gone all weird. The fish aren't biting. What a drag. What happened to him? Beats me. I got separated from my three buddies, and when I saw them again, they were like that. They won't go anywhere, you see. So I'm just killing time with a little fishing. Although, you know what? I'm uh, pretty thirsty. You wouldn't have something to drink now, would you? Mmm, uh, something smells good, that's for sure. <laughs> This will do nicely. Just what I wanted. Thanks. Here, you can have my rod. Take some time for fishing. It'll clear your head. Come back any time if you run out of bait. Isn't that Master Uten? You know that thing? Is it safe to go closer? Yeah, it's all right. He's a pretty well-behaved monster. He doesn't hurt people. But it looks like something's wrong with him. Is he okay? What's the matter? Are you hurt? Humans, hmm? Don't see them every day. Now that I think about it, there was another half-pied bumbling around earlier. This forest started to get nice and crowded these days. Never mind that. You look like you're in pain. What happened? It's pitiful, really, but I was awful hungry and somehow got my hands on the forbidden fruit. When I did, my whole body just up and froze like this, and I couldn't move. My fault for messing with the Holy One's food. I'll bet the Holy One must be pretty ticked off right about now. So you ate one of these, huh? It's a poison apple. No wonder you don't feel so good. Never mind, don't worry. You'll feel better after you rest for a while. By the way, who's this Holy One? The Holy One is a great fish who's brought happiness to this forest. A holy fish? Monica, maybe this has something to do with those three back there. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I'm starting to understand now. This Holy One must have bewitched those three somehow. I bet the Holy One is really a big fish monster. Well then, Master Utan, where can we find this Holy One? Didn't you see a big old swamp on your way here? They say the Holy One lives in that swamp. I haven't seen it myself yet. Swamp, huh? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I remember. Let me see. A big fishy monster named the Holy One that hangs out in the swamps bewitching people. <laughs> this ought to be fun. Let's go check it out. Right. Thanks, Master Utan. You've been a big help. Hey, don't forget to mind your manners when you're dealing with the Holy One. Why don't we try fishing it out? 
Huh? Fish it out? Well, we've got a fishing rod. We know the Holy One likes poison apples. And we've got plenty of bait. Let's give it a try. Go on now, try it. Uh, okay. What's going on here? There's a hook stuck in my beautiful lips. Is this your doing? I won't forgive this. You're the one that made the little ones act so strangely. You must change them back. Oh yes, more victims of my beauty. Really, beauty can be a curse, you know. Anyway, why are you here? I already told you. I want you to change those little furbits back to the way they were. Well, such a thing would be quite simple, my dears. But nothing comes for free, you know. Business is business, and everything's business. Oh boy, this is gonna be another pain. So what do you want us to do? Ooh, so the little boy understands too. Listen carefully then, I won't say this again. Mwah. As everyone knows, I'm very fond of beautiful things. But here's the thing. Recently, you know, I've become a bit, well, dirty. Oh, it's so embarrassing. But listen to this. There's a fish called the Prisleen Fish that can clean up all the dirt from my body. So what I'd like you to do is go over there and catch it for me. You've got all that fishing gear, so you may as well use it, don't you think? Well, do you get my drift? <laughs> A priest clean fish. Okay, and when we get it, we want you to return those three back to normal. Yes, I know, I know. You don't have to tell a man twice. What? You're a guy? I'll be waiting.
<laughs> you caught it! Oh, excellent! This lovely pristine fish will kiss all the grime off my body and make me look stunning again! <laughs> yeah. oh. Right, you promised to return those three to normal. Oh yes, of course. Is this what you were after? So now those three are better? Well, why don't you go have a look? Well, uh, please excuse me. I wish you the best. <laughs> well, he's certainly cheerful. I'll give him that. Let's go and look. Right. everyone oh they suddenly returned to normal i'm so relieved i can't tell you what in the world have i been doing i cannot remember a darn thing the last thing i remember i was thirsty and i drank some of that swamp water i can't remember anything past that either what in the world happened to us you've all been under the holy one's spell the Holy One? Who's that? It's a fish monster that lives in the swamp. You guys almost ended up trapped here forever. Oh, that's crazy. Well, what are we gonna do about Holly? Oh, sure. We gotta look for Holly. Hold on, guys. We should come up with a plan first. Let's go back to Sindane. It's you! Is everyone all right? Boss! We were gone a long time. What have you been up to? We'll tell you everything later. What about Holly? Where is she? Where's Holly? I am sorry, but Holly isn't anywhere. Okay! Hold it a minute. Listen, you two, now that we've got everyone together, it's time for us to hold up our end of the deal. In return, can I ask you two to go search for Holly for us? By the look of things, I guess Holly really did find that legendary rainbow butterfly. It must be true that all those who lay eyes on it never leave the forest again. The only way to find Holly is to find the rainbow butterfly first and fall under the same spell, and then just break the spell, of course. Rainbow Butterfly, huh? I don't know. Do you really think it exists? Alrighty, we got ourselves a deal. We'll help you guys out, and you go find Holly Farris. Alright? All clear? Okay, we'll try. It's settled, then. You better get a move on, lads. Yeah! gonna do I have no idea what in the world's that noise what's that thing what the heck is that I 
don't know. <gasps> wow! Whoa! I can't believe it! This is just amazing! What an incredible machine! <laughs> How cool is that? You like that, eh? With this thing, you can make anything you want. Plant trees, build houses, whatever. Truly amazing! Can I get on board? Sure, by all means. This here is the control room for our pal, Carpenterian. This is the ultimate building machine, charged from all of the technology handed down through our former generations. Besides houses and buildings, it can build lots of natural things too, even trees and rivers. Looks like we can bring back Jurak's origin point with this. Hey, don't forget to find Holly for us now. Yes, we know. What's that? That's the reactor where you put the geostones. Geostones? Yep. Geostones are mysterious stones invented by the ancients. The geostones contain all the advanced knowledge of the ancient ones. Carpenterium is a revolutionary machine that uses the technology packed inside the geostones to make new things. When you put a geostone into the reactor, Carpenterium can star the data for building whatever is recorded on the geostone. That way, you can make new things. Just to warn you, even with the necessary data, some buildings can only be built on certain types of land. I think it's like Monica said, someone changed the forest here. But if you collect geostones hidden in the forest, you just might be able to change this place back to the way it used to be. Sounds great. We'll do it. Let's go then, Monica. You bet. We're counting on you to fight, Holly. Max, look! Huh? It's a time gate. You can pass between this time and mine through this gate. You just use that stone, you're at Lamelia. What? You mean this red stone? That's right. It's not just a pretty rock, you know. It's got mystical powers that let you pass through time. And the one I've got is the blue at Lamelia. They each have their own powers. Red brings you to the future, and blue to the past. With the two of them, we can use this gate to move back and forth between past and future. When we get Jurak's origin point back, we can use this gate to go see him. Hold in a minute. My father gave me this stone. Why did he have something like this? They say an Atlamilia can pick who it wants to belong to. It must have picked your father. And then it picked you, Max. What? Nick? Anyway, the main thing now is to get Jurak back. I bet Jurak can tell us all kinds of things. About Griffin, about the Rainbow Butterfly. I guess you would know. Now we've really got to get to work. We have to get Sindane back into shape and bring back the Great Elder, Jurak. All right.
Hey, you're back. Master Utan, you're looking a lot better now. Sure. I just ate something I wasn't supposed to, after all. I'm gonna be more careful from now on. Yeah, that's a good idea. By the way, we want to ask you a favor. Hmm? We want to get through here. Do you think you can move that boulder for us? Oh, that? Piece of cake. Wait right here. Master Utan, you're so strong. How about that? Guess I still got it. Ow! Are you okay? <laughs> oh boy, I've gone and sprained my back. I think I'll rest here a while. You go on ahead. Maybe you should exercise a little more often. But thanks a lot. You really helped us out. Right. We'll see you later.
takes care of you guys. <laughs>